There's an unfair stigma that Pretoria is a city devoid of creativity. In reality, the capital is full of vibrant, talented and capable designers and artists who do not get enough opportunities to showcase their work. As a Pretoria-based architecture firm, we decided to do something that celebrated our local authenticity. We were confident that we could do this while generating new and exciting design opportunities for ourselves. Early in 2014, we started marketing our big idea, the world's first citizen-driven Guerrilla Biennale, a two-month designer city festival that would put the city in the hands of its creative community. Low on budget, but high on innovation, it would democratize creativity, build social cohesion, and put a smile on the mind. In the months leading up to the Biennale, Cool Capital reached critical mass, and our social media pages were flooded by ideas to do public good. The private sector started to approach us. They also wanted to be part of the drive to promote design and art in the capital city. The 10 Biennale weeks were packed with creative installations, bolstered by viral social media and prolific press. Designers conceived the outcomes, advertising budgets footed the bills, and the public scored. The result? A better built environment for all, and a city with soul. As implementation agent for the Biennale, Matthews and Associates were introduced to many new clients similarly invested in the city. We were also appointed as curators for 54 major artworks for the new Chuane rapid bus system. Cool Capital became an institution for creativity. The relationship between people and place cemented Pretoria's reputation as a notable South African center of creativity. The momentum of cool capital will benefit our city for many years to come. Fasten your seatbelts for 2016. On says, buy a leaf from store.